Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to a very exciting video. This video is dedicated to BH Cosmetics Travel Series. Well, I just saw on Instagram, I don't remember who posted it. I hope I will find it again. Um, I think maybe BH Cosmetics themselves, yeah, BH Cosmetics themselves posted it and I'll put uh, screen uh, shot here they're going to come back with their travel series but this time it looks like they're going to be quadruples well at least according to the pictures that I saw and it kind of made me want to play with their eyeshadow palettes from the travel series I have five no, six, sorry. I have six palettes from the travel series of BH Cosmetics. So let's just go over them and let's pick a, pa a look for today from these. Why not? For me, that sounds very, very exciting that BH Cosmetics is going to come back with new products. This is really, really exciting because I really love the BH Cosmetics quality and they haven't gave us anything new for such a long time i think i don't remember when they declared their uh, chapter 11 maybe in january if i'm not mistaken or the end of december something like that if i i hope i'm not uh making that up but this is just a, just what i remember so if i'm wrong i'm sorry in advance but that's what i remember it was december january something like that they declared chapter 11 and the revolution bought them and our revolution are having troubles with the american market so i don't know something is happening but they did post that they're coming soon with new eyeshadow palettes from the travel series so let's see the ones that I have and let's create a look first of all I have well the newest one is passion in Paris look at that gorgeousness this is so beautiful this is more on the purpley side palette I also have I'm trying to do it in I think at the same time I bought Passion in Paris, I bought this one, Lost in Los Angeles. This one is a pastel, 16 color shadow palette. And I have, I think maybe in the same order, I also ordered this one, Smitten in Switzerland. And this one has a mirror in it. This one is, I think in the old packaging. The old packaging had mirrors. And love in london oops sorry forgot to show you how it looks like one of my favorite favorite palettes of bh cosmetics not to mention that i really love london <laughs> okay and this is trendy in tokyo this is the least favorite of them all i don't know i don't remember the last time i used it, it was a very long time ago this is not one of my favorite and beautiful in Barcelona, also from the old packaging. I don't know if they still make this or it's discontinued. But these are the six that I have. Of course, they had more. I didn't buy all of them because some, well, were not. They had something in Puerto Rico and they had a few more in this series, but I don't have them all. I have all these six. So let's take one shade of each. And create a look randomly ch choose one I don't know I haven't planned I should have I guess planned something okay let's just look at them together side by side well I don't know if it's going to be possible to show you all of them side by side but you know what I will place a picture here of all of them side by side so just a minute let me open them all up maybe i will be able to well i don't know squeeze them all in one like you know a picture mm, will not help us so i just took the camera and placed them all down here and let's look at them together so lost in los angeles 
um, London, forgot the real, the full name, Tokyo, Paris, Barcelona, and Switzerland. Okay, let's, can we create a look using all of these palettes? Hmm. How about a bingo? Yeah, let me grab my phone and we'll do a bingo. Well, I got the app. I downloaded a new one because I already removed the last one I had. So this is the one that I chose. Numbers between 1 and 16. So I wrote down the names of the palettes here. So I'm going to pick a number from 1 to 16. And write it down next to my list here. So the first one is Paris. Let's randomly see. We have 13 in Paris. Okay, next up. We have one for Barcelona. We have 11 for LA. Six for Tokyo. Nine for Switzerland. And the last one is... Fifteen for London. Okay. So these are the numbers that we gonna draw. Okay. We don't need an app anymore. Okay. Now let's take Paris. Paris is here and we have the sh number 13. How I'm going to do that? Let's, you know, do from 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 1, so this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh, what a nice shade. The name is, I'm going to write it down, Grand Place. Grand Palace. Palace which is a burgundy. Let's swatch it. Let's swatch it here. So this is the first shade. Next up is Barcelona and I have number one, which is the easiest one because this is number one here. The first one, La Rambla. La Rambla. Let's swatch La Rambla, which is a very light shade. Yeah, we can see that. Next up is LA, and we have number 11. So, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, mustard. Mustard gold. Stars, stars truck. This one here, it's a shimmer, shimmery gold. Oh my god. Okay, let's write it down. Starbucks. Oh, it looks like Starbucks. <laughs> Stars truck. Okay, next up is Tokyo, and Tokyo is number six. This is Tokyo. Four, five, six. Oh my god, a red fashion. This is going to be challenging. I don't know if I'll be able to meet the challenge. Look at this red. Okay. <laughs> Next up is Switzerland. And from Switzerland we have number nine. This is Switzerland, so this is number nine. Alps. Alps, which is a gray. Okay, a gray silver. I don't think I ever used this. Sh Ooh, nice. It has a burgundy. T Maybe it's a duochrome? Well, not a duochrome, but it looks like a burgundy kind of shade. Ooh, love this shade. Okay, and last one is from. Where am I going to put that? Let's put it here. And last one is from London, and London is 15. 
Okay, so this is London. So we have 15, this one here, called Crumpet, which is a brown Crumpet. Okay, I just wrote it down so I won't forget. So this is Crumpet. Oh my God, what am I going to do with this? Okay, so this is the color scheme that we have chosen. And this is the color scheme that we are going to use. I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I'm excited. Are you excited? My hands and this again. This is the color scheme that we have, have chosen together. I'm going to start with my crease. But before that, of course, we have to prime. So we have from BH Cosmetics their base booster. It will only be fitting that I will use a BH Cosmetics base for this look. It's white and sticky. I don't know if they still sell it. But as you can see, it turns transparent and it's sticky. Even if it's a bit white, I don't really mind. But it does turn into transparent, which is really, really nice. It's very, very, very sticky. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with the crease and I'm going to take these two together. So I'm going to take from Barcelona the shade La Rambla, which was this white here. And I'm going to combine it together with Last in London, number 15, which was Crumpet, here. So I'm going to use both of them and create a transition shade. So I'm taking from La Rambla, here La Rambla, very, very flaky, and Crumpet. I'm tapping off the axis because I have a full face of makeup and i think crumpet is more dominate here so i'll add from rambla in a minute so this is just going to be transition shade let's take just from the rambla this is very old palette but i love it and i haven't used it for a very long time like that. We have transition shade, so let's take a bit from the Rambla and Crumpet. I'm just doing like this, swirling them together and going to this side and doing the same. And I get some kind of light brown, ashy brown, which is weird because Crumpet is brown and not ashy but maybe the combination of them both give you an ashy brown well it does you can see that it does give us an ashy brown okay so this is going to be our transition shade now we can take these two and put them aside let's put them there here so they won't interfere okay now so I used this one, which was La Rambla in Barcelona and Crumpet in London. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be challenging. Let's take this one, which was Grand Playa from Paris. Passion in Paris. This was this one here, right? No, do this one. <laughs> this is a lucky thing I wrote the shade name. Here, Grand Palace, I guess that's what it means. Let's take a clean brush. Let's step into this beautiful shade here. Not a lot of access, but this one doesn't have a mirror in it. And I'm just adding it here. I don't know how the gold will mix here. So it's definitely going to be a challenge. I mean, I can still see the red, 
I can see the which shade was that I can see this silver I don't know burgundy shade combined but I don't see the gold but we will find a way to combine the gold okay so this that was Grand Palace from Passion in London okay next up I want to use the red red was from Tokyo trendy in Tokyo it was fashion this red here same brush on the other side of the brush let's take Tokyo no fallout this one has a mirror and add it here I really like the fact that this one has a mirror in it so I'm just adding the red it's not a very vibrant red like I thought initially when I saw the swatch but it's workable that's for sure so I added the red to the middle of the lash why lash lid so we already used Tokyo I have two more left three more left no two more lost in Los Angeles I have star no lost in Los Angeles yes star track no, this one's not started. This is star, 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 stars truck. Why it's so difficult for me to say that name? And from Switzerland we have elves. Let's just put them side to side. Let's see how I'm going to combine them together. Or not. So star truck and else is here these two you know what let's take elf first so from switzerland i'm taking elf on my finger elves oh, this is such a gorgeous shade and i'm just adding it here in the inner corner and I'm going to do it with a brush and combine them together. This is a beautiful shade. Very, very beautiful. Here, this one, definitely gorgeous. Let's take a blending brush. Oh, BH Cosmetics one. And I think I kind of lost the red, so let's just add it. blend it together this is no number no name just says oh BH cosmetics number five I think it was gold signature but I'm not really sure okay let's add some more of the red in Tokyo let's put it back because we kind of lost the red so I'm taking from Tokyo and adding the red here in the middle. I thought I'm going to create something green and yellow, hence the shirt, but the bingo didn't think that. The, the oh my god okay <laughs> I lost the brush okay now let's go to lost in Los Angeles and I'm thinking of adding the star track to the lower lash line that's what we're going to do taking a small angled brush is it clean yep Taking from Star's Truck. Took too much. 
no mirror here but we have mirror in switzerland so taking this one and adding it to oh you can't see anything Whew. to the lower lash line i think i need another a different brush where is number two brush from rougher where is my rougher number two brush i don't know can't find it anywhere it's here i just need to find it hmm. rougher number two yeah i found you i found him okay let's go back oh I almost took from the wrong palette so I'm taking the gold let's hope it works together I really hope so I have to say that I think that the lid turned out so beautifully oh it kind of worked together it's strange but it's nice or am i dreaming maybe we'll add a bit of elf on top of it yeah let's do that let's take the same brush let's take the cleanser Let's clean the brush and add some from ELF from Switzerland. So creamy. So I'm not really covering the gold, I'm just adding the beautiful shade of silver I think it's worse hmm don't really like it well first of all I have too much here so I'm just taking a clean brush and cleaning it Now it looks much better. Okay. Much, much better. Okay, so this is the look. This is the look from BH Cosmetics, the travel series of BH Cosmetics. I'm going to add mascara and I'll show you the final look with these beautiful palettes. So I will pop in mascara and be right back. Back with mascara. So this is the final eye look. What do you think? Well, I have to say that I love the lid more than the lower lash line. I usually don't apply so much. Well, I usually don't apply anything on the lower lash line. And if I do, it's a very thin line. And here, I don't know why I got excited. I don't really don't know why, but I put a lot product it turned out nice because I combined the gold and the silvery silvery color together but the lid wow wow really turned out beautifully I was so intimidated by this color scheme I thought you know what can I do with that that can actually work I did I love these bingos and I really am excited for the BH Cosmetics launch. I really hope that when they're saying coming soon, it means soon and not in a few months. Because they did say in the past coming soon and didn't. So I really, really hope that this time we will see the travel series. Okay, if you enjoy this video and my brave 
and bingo very brave bingo of call eyeshadow palettes from bh cosmetics travel series <laughs> if you enjoy that then please give this video a thumbs up i know that i had a blast it was really really exciting and i really like the look that turned out i think i will embrace it well at least the lead not really sure about the lower lash line i really like the lid i think i will embrace it for other looks because it turned out beautifully okay thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my family my family here on youtube before you leave and i will catch you all in my next video bye